Our next witness is Mr. Richard Clark, who served as the former National Coordinator for Counterterrorism at the National Security Council. Do you swear or affirm to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you very much, sir. Now, Mr. Clark, your written remarks will be entered into the record in full. Uh... I also welcome the hearings because it is finally a forum where I can apologize to the loved ones of the victims of 9-11, to them who are here in the room, to those who are watching on television. Your government failed you. Those entrusted with protecting you failed you. And I failed you. We tried hard, but that doesn't matter because we failed. And for that failure, I would ask, once all the facts are out, for your understanding and for your forgiveness. With that, Mr. Chairman, I'll be glad to take your questions. I want you to concentrate, to the degree you can, on the memos, on the email, how high a priority was fighting al-Qaeda in the Bush administration? I believe the Bush administration in the first eight months uh, considered terrorism uh, an important issue, but not an urgent issue. Uh, you urge policymakers to imagine a day after hundreds of Americans lay dead in a home or abroad after a terrorist attack the inconsistency between what your promoters are putting out and what you yourself said as late as August 05, you've got a real credibility problem. And because of my real genuine long-term admiration for you, I hope you'll resolve that credibility problem because I'd hate to see you uh, become totally shoved to one side during a presidential campaign as an active partisan selling a book. Thank you, John. Um, I've been accused uh, of being a member of John Kerry's campaign team several times this week, including by the White House. So let's just lay that one to bed. Uh, the White House has said that uh, my book is an audition for a high-level position in the Kerry campaign. So let me say here, as I am under oath, that I will not accept any position in the Kerry administration should there be one, on the record, under oath. In the 15 hours of testimony, no one asked me what I thought about the president's invasion of Iraq. And the reason I am strident in my criticism of the president of the United States is because by invading Iraq, something I was not asked about by the commission, but something I chose to write about a lot in the book. By invading Iraq, the President of the United States has greatly undermined the war on terrorism. Uh, commissioner Feeling. <clears throat> Mr. Clark, thank you for being here.